So I'm going to represent him during the course of this proposal. I spoke to him this morning. He's currently abroad due to family obligations. He sends you all of you his best regards. And I hope you will look at the next proposal with the utmost integrity and discretion. Okay, conserving. So you all see this is disappearing rhinos as a virtual reality. The present situation, rhinos are dying by the day. I think we all got that clear. It's uh, amazing to see that all of us here are here for a common goal. No matter what your views are around it. The common goal is we want to save the rhino. Demand exceeds supply. The projecting poaching for this year demands about five tons of rhino horn that's going to be poached by the end of December. The present situation is unsustainable. The reasons why everybody put it out and put it out clear there, it takes time to train rangers, it takes time to get participants in order to save the rhino, the police dogs get stacked up, and the most important is there's a lack of funding. Rhinos will be extinct shortly. I don't know, let me just hammer on this point, I don't know all of you understands the consequences of the word extinction. Now, side this protects species that's on the verge of extinction. Now, if the rhino is extinct, there's nothing to conserve or to protect for CITES. So illegal horn of trailing of rhino horn will be then automatically be legalized. I hope I've got that clear. The world perception and legislation will have to change in order to save the rhino. And let me for the purpose of my proposal, set the record straight here. The word compare by STEM means you held something equal. Something is held equally. Now I'm hearing a lot of debate about vuncunas and kudus and sharks and crocodiles and ostriches. My debate is strictly about a live rhino. You can't compare something that's dead to something that's alive. That's impossible. And how can you, and I will show you, illustrate in the, in the proposal, that we need a different approach in order to save the rhino. The following is a proposal, and it means it's a lifeline, and in other words, it's a timeline. So I hope you will see this proposal in the same light as these three words. Main markets include China and Vietnam, and the proposed is that poachers are offered 140,000 rands per kilogram for rhino horns. Now, you can imagine the capital that's going to the poachers market. The black market is powerful, it's dangerous, it's organized, and it's getting each and every day more powerful by the day with this funding of rhinos being poached. And when power of money comes power, and of power comes the ability to change a community's view or a person's view on something. Now, street price in Vietnam currently is at $95,000. That's estimate via media related articles. So that's about 1,12 million rands. That is at the percentage of, of uh, sorry, the currency of 11 rand 60. I don't know if you watched the market this morning. The rand dollar is now at 11 rand 87, so the deficit is going to be around, I think, uh, 25,000 rand more, if you talk about revenue in the currency. The present demand is plus minus 5 tons of horn per year. 1,200 rhinos are poached each and every year with an average rhino horn of 4,16 kilogram. If you want my stats, I can say a calf has been poached for maybe 2 or 1.5 kilograms. The cow 4 kilograms and the male about around 8 or 9 kilograms. So that gives you more or less an average of 4,16 kilograms. If you look at a projected income of 40 rhinos, if you farm with them, if rhino horn is sold on the black market, like I said, it's a live rhino, and this is the black market situation currently at the moment for a live rhino. At 140,000 rand per kilogram, that's poacher's price. If you occupy 10 bulls, 10 bulls can produce a per year for you about 1.2 kilograms of rhino horn if cut it. 
and 30 bar cows can produce half a kilogram. So if you look at the figures there, 12 kilograms per year plus 15 kilograms can, can make a revenue of you about 5.78 million rand. That's the current situation. The total estimate income per rhino per year in the black market is 144,500. That's including the cough that the cow reproduces each and every three years that has value to the chain. Should the trade in rhino horn be legalized at the CITES convention, Cape Town in 2016? I think this is the main goal we are here for. The demand from Asia will increase by 16% if it's legalized, now including Japan, Korea and Taiwan. A central marketing organization will offer legal horn on a regular basis. I'm hearing all quite of um, debates about going to war with them and targeting Mozambique. Mozambique is directly connected to Vietnam. I just want to emphasize, in Vietnam, which the currently holds the most rhino trade before the legalizing of rhino trade war, Vietnam defeated the French in 1954. They defeated the United States in 1975. And I don't think it's a good idea to go to war with these people in order <laughs> to tell them we're not going to sell you rhino horn because we're at war with you. Let me just get that off the record. The 30 tons of horn held in South Africa should decrease the current market price. Like I said, there's many people that illustrated that. That's now open for discussion. Legal rhino horn will place pressure on the black market price and the poachers. Because of the current situation, the only guys who has got the market is the illegal market, is the black market. And that's the syndicates, the organized crime. So there's no leverage for any, any, any of them for us to even compare the legal, the pressure on the black market that is, if you legalize rhino horns, it's going to be put on. Privately owned rhinos could call costly supply approximately about four tons of rhino horn per year, the current situation. Like I said, the legal value is estimated at 400,000 rand per kilogram. That's 40% of the black market value in the Vietnam area. Now, land capital required to start farming with 40 rhinos in 2015. If you look at the figures, the land, I'm talking, like I said, I'm representing the Limpopo area, not northwest, like the same as Mr. John knew. So, land of 800 hectares, we required about, estimate that a white rhinoceros is a grazer, so we estimate that 20 hectares is needed for a grazer, for a white rhinoceros, to like naturally um, adopt in the environment that we situate for them. Now the land at 8,000 rand per hectare is 6.4 million rand. Removal of additional trees and bush, that's to increase the grazing capacity, is about 2,000 rands per hectare. Electrified fencing, and let me say electrified fencing, we're talking about so high electrified fencing is now around roughly 150,000 rand per kilometer. Estimated 10, kilo 10 kilometers around 800 hectares is 1.5 million rand. The interest cost at 10% is about 950,000 rand. Interest cost per rhino per year, 23,000 rand, 750. Now, your annual rainfall should also be between 500 and 700 uh, millimeters per year. So, we're not taking out rhinos out of their um, natural, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> natural environment. We're actually, we do it in an environment where it's actually capable for them to breed in a natural way. So, to reduce the density of the trees, we increase the capacity for a rhino to survive in a natural habit. So, capital required to purchase 40 rhinos and to start farming in 2015. Now, I'm going to emphasize this, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet. If you look at this figure, a rhino now is worth more dead than it is alive. It's a fact. There's the figures. Ten bulls, 250,000 rand. I mean, a one kilogram of rhino was 1.4 million rand. 30 cows at 500,000 rand per rhino. You're looking at the capital cost of 17.5 million rand for 40 rhinos. Interest on investment at 10% is around well, 1.75. Interest cost per rhino is about 43,750 rand. The management cost incurred to a farm of 40 rhinos, and this is privately owned. The external personal security you can see as well is the highest. It's running around 720,000 rand. Internal personal security, 480. Surveillance, and you can go so for feed as well when you need to, not always. Vet fees, it's also going to be there, electricity and water. And the total cost per rhino per year is 41,250. The capital gain on the rhino horn if the trade is legalized. 
and look at the figures, why not cows? The reproduction per cow. It's estimated that if the, that's the, also the mindset we must have in order, if you look at legalization of rhino horn, is that the, the value of a rhino life is going to become tenfold. So if you look at the figures that we produced, is reproduction per cow, one calf every three years, it's going to be two million rand. 600 and divided by three years is 666,000 rand. If you take the horn income at the legalized rate of 400,000 rand, it's 200,000 rand per cow, 480,000 rand per bull. The total production income of 10 bulls is 4,8. For the cows, 26 million, because it reproduces. The total production income of 40 rhinos is roughly around 30,8 million. The increased value of live rhino if the rhino home trade is legalized is going to be roughly for 30 cows. If it's going to tenfold the price and the value of a rhino born alive is more than dead, it's going to be 150 million rand for 30 cows, 25 million rand for bulls, and the capital startup cost will cost you 27 million rand, plus the management cost for three years is 5 million, and you sit with an asset of 142.847 million rand. The conclusion. While legalizing the trade of rhino horn, the population of the white rhino will increase driven by financial gain motivating farmers and communities in the industry that wants to participate in saving the rhino. South Africa, with 90% of the world's rhinos, will become the leading rhino horn producer. This financial boost will lead to a vast amount of jobs being created. The rhino will become the most predictable and most profitable farm animal in the world. Legal trade will divert the revenue stream towards the rhino custodians away from the rhino poachers. That's what we all we want, I think. as was the common goal. All the above are just farm sucked predictions and based on the present perceptions in the use of rhino horn.